Now, some of the skills that I use today, I learned from past generations in my family. Some of my fondest memories were working on amazing DIY projects with my granddad. Now, today, I'm about to meet a young lad who's lucky enough to be taken on his first project with the help of multiple generations of his family. 21-year-old trainee architect Lewis is also a fitness fanatic. But when he clapped eyes on this dilapidated old railway wagon on a nearby farm, he had a brainwave to mix business with pleasure. But it soon became clear that things weren't going to be plain sailing. I thought it was going to be a really easy task. About a couple of days in, I think I'm going to have to call in some reinforcements. So, uh, might have been off a bit more than I can chew here. Morning, gents. Morning. Morning. How are you Morning. doing? Yeah, good. Yeah. You right? Lewis, very nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Who are these fine men? This is Grandad Ron, and this is Dad Tony. Uh, yeah, yeah. And what's the project you've taken on? I've decided to renovate a, uh, a railway cargo wagon. What's it going to be? The idea is to turn it into a gym and a sauna. And where does Dad and Grandad come into this? Grandad kind of kick-started the whole DIY thing. Grandad had taught Dad his DIY skills, and then obviously Dad had passed them to me. I love that. It's like a kind of collection of Jedi Knights just <laughs> learning from each other. And Ron, just how good have they been as young apprentices? He's been all right. He's still learning, really. <laughs> <laughs> and Lewis, this is all your money, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I didn't actually realise until I started this, this project how much things cost. Walking in with a £3,000 budget, that was a bit silly. And what's the budget now? Probably about 10. <laughs> 10 grand <laughs> budget Only now. A bit. So, can we see this project? Let's go and have a look. Catch up with you gents later on. Yeah, Take care. So, this is it, Lewis? This is it, yeah. This oh, is... my word. This has already taken a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of angle grinding blades and sanding down and uh, paint. And what do you know about the carriage? Do you know any of its history? This would have carried fresh fruit and veg into and out of London, most likely. You know, this would have been around 1930s, 40s time it would have been used. So, this is the images? Look this is this. it. This is kind of what, this, what it was like before I, I decided to renovate it. That's bad. I know that's bad. <laughs> just from looking at it, that's terrible. So just to get it from that to that <laughs> is epic in itself, yeah, mate. And then what have we got here? This is one of the original doors. And are you going to restore this and put it back on? Uh, yes, hopefully it'll look good. I kind of want to bring it into the 21st century. You know, I want big windows. I want to put my bit of modern architecture into it, but you've got to you know, show that it is still a really old railway carriage. Is that all right? Yes, that's good. 21 year old architecture student Lewis, with some help from his dad Tony and granddad Ron, has been restoring a 90 year old train wagon. And the exterior is now complete, but that's only half the task. Fitness fan Lewis still needs to elevate this build from wagon to fully equipped gym and sauna. The first job is fitting the windows. I just want to get this, you know, it's one of those things, you want to get this positioning right, because you go and cut a hole in the wrong place. You can't glue it back in. Before we cut the hole, you've got to be happy. There's no going back. Lewis only has one shot at this. A slip could set the project way back. I've got it. There we go. Well done. I have a window. Wow. It's going to let a nice amount of light into the carriage. Now, we are in kiln-dried Aspen territory, which is hitting my bank account quite hard. So, uh, no, hopefully we won't make too many errors. Aspen is an ideal wood for a sauna. Here we go, two more. Granddad's on a roll. As a lower to hardwood, <laughs> it isn't too dense, so it won't get dangerously hot. It may be costly, but it's a necessary expense. It's the first thing I've done on my own money, so uh, it's teaching me some good life lessons. He's investing a lot in this. Probably everything he's got. I think the true investment in, in this whole project is he's really investing in some pretty spectacular memories. So right. um, the, the finances will take care of themselves eventually. So, you know, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's the true investment. Lewis, how you doing, mate? Yes, very good. You all right? Very, very good. How's your dad and your granddad? They're excited. We've made it, finally. Well, speaking of which, where is it? Well, it's actually, it's just over there, on the top of the hill. It's on its way. Where? Oh, my word, look at that. It's a beautiful traction engine. 
<laughs> Look at your carriage on the back. It looks right at home, doesn't it? What could be more fitting for the carriage's final journey than getting a toll from a steam-powered traction engine? There we go. <laughs> Listen to that! What an arrival that is. Doesn't get any better than that, no. I tell you. Really doesn't. Yeah. Come on, let's have let's a look. Have a look. Mate, it looks so good. Are you pleased with it? I'm so pleased with it. Yeah, I love it. I'm falling in love with it. <laughs> I'm loving the curved corrugated roof. I think that's it. It's got that kind of agricultural, industrial look, hasn't it? It just looks fantastic, man. Oh, mate. Before, this was literally just a bare steel frame. Now, it's an immaculate, modern, multifunctional gym and sauna. Looks like it's brand spanking new. <laughs> it really does, apart from the curved steels, because obviously that was a job, but they look amazing. That ceiling is beautiful. Yeah. And you've got all the kit in. Talk me through everything you've got. Yeah, so I've got a, a multi-gym. Uh, I've got an exercise bike in the back and a bench press on the right. And then to finish with, we've got my homemade rowing machine. And what's that? That is the bottom of a dustbin. <laughs> So can I have a go? Absolutely. Brilliant. Try it out. So... <sighs> it's really good. Yeah. I can't believe you built this out of a bike and a bit of dustbin. <laughs> it's awesome. I have to say, it's brilliantly built in. It's really good for that to just fold away and keep the space all open plan. Yeah. It's genius. But that's not all. Lewis has gone all out installing a stylish four-person sauna. Perfect for a post-workout wind-down. Lewis, it's a super pro sauna. <laughs> and look at the view you've got. That's fantastic, mate. Yeah. Honestly, it's beautifully done, and I love the ceiling. Look at that. Lewis may have pulled off a master stroke with his impressive gym wagon, but did Grandad Ron and Dad Tawny help him master his finances? Now, I hate to bring this up. What have you spent in the end? It has cost me 13,640. I'd like to know how many man hours we've spent on this. Kept a track, yeah. Come on, how many man hours? 670 man hours. Crikey. Wow. That's a lot. I needed we've, that for my invoice. <laughs> <laughs> and what does it mean to you, Ron, seeing what your grandson's built? I never would have imagined it to turn out like this. And it's just stupendous, it really is. You must be proud of them. Oh, so proud, you can't believe that. As I say, there aren't words to say how proud I am of them. Me too, I second that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not bad, is it, mate? Yeah. Come on, no, you've got the right. nod of approval and pride from your dad and your grandma. There you go, sorted. As a team, well done. The three of you were yeah. brilliant. <laughs> really you. good. And Thank you've all you. played really important parts that's in getting right. this over the line, and I have to say, it looks fantastic. Yeah. Really oh, good. We're pleased with it.